Hello, I'm Rachel Collins, the Happy Mummy Health Coach, and today I'm really excited to be joined by Katie Brooke. She's the author of Whoosh, A Little Guide for Birth Companions. Um, she's an illustrator, a mum, and today we are talking about how to have an amazing birth experience. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, hi, it's absolutely brilliant to, to join you. Hello. Oh, fab, fab. Um, I'm really, really excited to talk to you about Woosh. So do you want to start just by telling us, what is Woosh? It's a great name. What is it? Yeah, okay. Woosh is a little book for birth companions. Um, it's a really straightforward guidebook in pictures for birthing couples and parents to be. Um, and what it does is it's a pointer and a sort of guide for not just women, but for men as well, and birth partners to get involved in the labour. Um, so there's sections in there on um, what to do if things are slow, um, ways to massage, uh, breathing techniques, what to pack in your hospital bag, and natural ways to help pain relief, and who doesn't want to know that? Um, it's all natural methods, it's all evidence-based and thoroughly researched. And um, the midwives and doulas that have seen it so far have absolutely loved it and used it as a guide and a tool to start conversations about labour and expectations and, and whatever as well. So it's 90 pages of um, illustrations. It's all in pictures. Fab. And do you know what? That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Because I think particularly if you're like in labour, you don't want to be reading loads and loads of text. No. I don't think your no. companion will be either. <laughs> So it's, a, it's, it's really good as a quick reference book and a guidebook and it, as I say it is all in pictures and there's arrows going do this, rub here, use that, um, you know, uh, play this music. Um, so it, it's a quick reference but it's also um, a really useful tool for people who are um, pregnant, you know, expecting to start a conversation about um, their thoughts about birth and the labour room and um, and the things that are involved and what part they're going to play in it um, and the feedback I've got from dads is that it's it's um, really helped to um, make them feel useful in the labour room and not like a spare part which I think is really a helpful thing to do. <laughs> really oh that's that's just fantastic it sounds amazing um, so how did it all come about what why did you create this book? Okay I'm, a, I'm an illustrator and artist um, I researched like mad um, during my first pregnancy. Uh, my first pregnancy was fantastic, I really enjoyed it, but I had no idea about what was going to happen in labour and I just really wanted to know. Um, did so much research and then when my due date came round, I kind of went mute and I went, ah! My husband went into his man cave. I didn't realise actually how terrified he was was trying to put a brave face on it but actually he sort of went mute and I went mute and and then I thought how am I going to get across all this amazing information about what I want him to do the things I want him to say um where to rub my back how am I going to let him know and I thought uh, I know I'll make him a book <laughs> so I sat down for half days and drew 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 and um all the information that I'd researched for months and months and months um, I put in pictures, um, so it's dead straightforward, really simple, so he could just follow it and go, okay, yeah, cool, I know what you want. I also put sections in there um, for um, what music I wanted him to listen to, or maybe that he might want to listen to as well, and ideas for baby names for a bit of fun. And So there's sections in there that people can fill out themselves. Oh. So that's how it came about, and then... A few people saw it and said, you know, Kate, you should really try and get this published. And, um, and then what I really wanted to do with the book is help people because, you know, birth is something that you don't know what's going to happen. And um, it's a really nice way for people to engage in the actual beautiful process of giving birth and to help that process naturally. Um, and I really, really just wanted to help people who were entering that whole exciting uh, rites of passage um, so that they'd have a lovely time. Wow, that's just amazing. And, you know, I love it. I love that story. And I've noticed so many kind of 
women that are working in this field you know helping other mums um yeah. it all comes from our own experience this is and that's why we're passionate about it and i oh i love it love it that's, that's what's so true that's so true uh, yeah i've come across so many people as well and who have had an event or an experience where they've gone right i have to do something about this and help and help people and there's some incredible midwives and mums out there and doulas and I've met some amazing people along the path so far so so wonderful um so okay so you've got this whole like 90 page book of tips and tools and things to have this amazing birth experience so what would be your kind of number one tip to pregnant mums and their birth companions to help them have a really good birth experience well there are so many aren't there yeah um, <laughs> yeah i bet <laughs> i think my my top two tips would be to research mm -hmm. um, fear only happens in the unknown doesn't it yeah. so you're only terrified about something if you don't know about it and if you've got the tools to do something about it then you won't that fear won't creep in so research 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 um and talk talk to your per partner your birth partner um yeah sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not um but i think it's really important to get that conversation going and the dialogue going about expectations Mm -hmm. about aspirations about what you want what you don't want your fears and put everything on the table and so sh and share it share what what you want how you how you want it to go and uh, sort of expectations of it and then no, no one's going to get a surprise then <laughs> yeah, no, and and talk to wives as well obviously about what you how your your books are using wish would be a really good starting point to actually have that conversation it's a really good reference point because it goes through this, as I said, there's 90 odd pages, so it's quite full. Um, and it touches on lots of different points within labour so that you can, you know, sort of raise questions about, about massage or um, breathing or hypnobirthing or yeah. what you should take in your hospital bag. Um, oxytocin, there's a whole section on there. Um, about about science and about the chemicals and the hormones that go in, in your body and yeah. wow I just uh, I found that whole thing amazing and something that I knew nothing about before having babies um, but uh, I, I still find it incredible what the body does and um, you know ways to generate this love hormone oxytocin by soft touch massage you know and very very um, tried and tested and very nice techniques to to get you feeling wonderful and get your body to be relaxed and, and actually enjoy the process of birth yeah. um well, which I can be done this. i wish i'd seen this you know when i was pregnant with my first baby you know i mm. I, I remember i had no fear around my first birth yeah um, and I remember just being fascinated about what my body was about to do. I was like, wow, come on, let's just sit back and see what happens. And, yeah. and I didn't really research it fully, um, yeah. which is bizarre. You know, I've always worked in the health industry. I've worked in the NHS for years. Yeah. Um, you'd think I'd want to know, but I think I researched a lot about how to have a good pregnancy and how to look after myself through that. And I thought, well, birth will just happen. You know, bodies do it. It's amazing. And that's, that's what I found the, um, you know, the, the antenatal classes that you went to, they kind of just let you believe your body knows what to do. Don't worry about it. Um, but of course there's things we can do to help ourselves, aren't there? Yeah. I don't think you're alone in that though. Um, you know, I think people have expectations like they'll expect to be taken care of and they'll expect their bodies to function well. And, you know, they'll expect it to happen or, you know, there are so many expectations out there and with learning about um the different things that might happen and you know i think with knowledge you can um be better placed to 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 have that lovely experience because it, it can be a fabulous experience and you hear all those horror stories of don't you <laughs> uh, yeah let's go there but there are fabulous experiences as well. My second um, birth was wonderful and I would do it again tomorrow. I really would. It was just amazing. It was, it was really empowering. It was fabulous. Yeah, my second birth was absolutely amazing. And it's, it's incredible how, you know, the same person can have two very different... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. absolutely. 
And I think that the environment has a lot to do with it, um, where you are, who you're with, um, you know, the, the, if it's the room light or dark, all those animal instincts, the smells, you know, there are, and there are so many things that you can do to have an influence on that, wherever you are, you know, if you're in a hospital room, you can still <clears throat> get battery powered candles and dim the lights and you are allowed to ask, can I dim the lights, you know, have I put music on? You're allowed to do that. And so many people don't know that they're allowed to say, can I lower the bed? You know, can I stand up? Can I move around? Can I? But if, you, if you're a first time mum, you might not always know that. Um, it's hard to find your voice the first time round because you haven't done this before, have you? And, and no. your midwives, they've done it before. They've done it for hundreds, if not thousands of babies. Yeah. Having a way to help you find your voice is just incredible. Mm. So, oh, I'm, I'm envious <laughs> of the ones that are going to have the book. Oh, baby now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just absolutely fantastic. Mm. Um, so it's I've absolutely loved talking to you about this. And so I know there are going to be mums watching this who are about to have their baby and they really want to see this. So how can people buy the book? How can mums buy the book? Okay, um, I have a website which is uh, birthcompanion.co.uk um, and I'm on Twitter and Facebook um, as Katie Wushbrook um, as well and you can buy it on Amazon too. And it's only little, I, don't, I actually don't have a copy on me which is a bit ridiculous. Really, but <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, but it's only tiny and, it's, and it comes in a hardback uh, case and it's, so it's quite, it's a lovely gift. Yeah, uh, so it sounds well, I think a lot of people are buying it for their friends who are pregnant yeah. or, or who need to talk to their husbands more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, a really good gift for dads, you know, dads yeah. to be. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything controversial about men and women, but you know, some people would say that they are different and they think differently, and some people wouldn't have a problem with that at all and say no, they're not. But um, the, the the sort of different languages aren't there, and uh, and I guess it's. It, it's, it's quite nice to be able to express things visually in images. It's something that I really, really enjoy doing. Yeah. Um, and I think you can sometimes get things across in imagery that you can't in words. Yeah, um, definitely. So you get those conversations going. <laughs> amazing and I think you know yeah it can be a bit controversial to say men and women are different but you know we, we are and also there's a big difference between someone who is carrying a baby and someone who is not. You know, when Absolutely. you're carrying a baby, one, hormones are going crazy, and two, you, you're thinking about your body very, very differently, and ideas and thoughts are coming into your head that other people might not have thought about. And of course they're not going to think about it because they're not the ones that are carrying the baby. They're not the ones that have got this event of birth looming at some point in the future. So, you know, of course we're going to do differently. Um, no, I, really wish, I wish people had warned me about those hormones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have hormones. Um, I can have, laugh about it now, but, you know, um, the conversations that I've had with, with my friends and mums who have, oh you know you just don't know what's hit you and, you, and you're in it and, and you can't control it you know no. that whole um, you know sort of postpartum period and stuff and uh, yeah. god it's an experience isn't it there's nothing like it it's it really amazing is. it's an amazing experience our bodies are absolutely incredible and i think it can be it can be such a positive positive experience becoming a mum is is life-changing and, and it's incredible but it, I find there's often not enough information out there. So to have something like this that just puts all everything you need to know into pictures that, you know, you can sit and talk through it before your birth. You can sit there and go through it in labour. I just, it's absolutely amazing and it's so, so needed. So um, I think what you've done is brilliant. I'm and I'm really, really pleased that you've joined me to talk about it today. I really appreciate your time. It's great to talk to you. It's great to have that conversation. Thanks, thank you very much. Oh, no, it's been brilliant to, ha brilliant to have you here. Um, so, yeah, thank you very, very much for joining us. And hopefully we will chat again soon. We can talk maybe um, on another topic and go a bit further into birth experience or something. So, um, 
maybe any mummers that are out there watching and have any questions for Katie, um, send them over to me or comment below the video and uh, we could have Katie on again and talk to her a bit more. Yes, what sure. I'll do, Katie, is I'll, I'll pop the links to your book underneath the video so everyone can find them. Yeah. Um, um, and to answer any more questions about the book or, or about, um, I'd, you know, I'd love to have more conversation about birth or, you know, whatever with, with mums and dads alike. Fab. Oh, thank you so much, Katie. It's been great to talk to you. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>